Okay, we'll get going. We appreciate everybody taking the time. I know everybody's busy. We're planning to release NPL schedules tomorrow. Um, it'll probably be sometime tomorrow in the afternoon. And we've done these webinars now for a few years, and the feedback has been well-received. Just in terms of getting information, being able to ask any questions of us, make sure that people are on the same page about uh, schedules, reschedules, events, you know, anything that you might want to ask, we're, we're happy to answer. I believe there's a Q&A open in Zoom, so feel free to leverage that if you need to. And our plan is to be out of here, be done uh, between 7.30 and 7.40, okay? I'm Matt Tiano with TCSL. Again, thank you for taking the time tonight. So as I mentioned, schedules for the spring portion of the NPL, we're planning to get out tomorrow. Um, it'll likely be in the afternoon, like I mentioned. We're going to take the morning to just tidy up a few things and make sure that um, each and every match is scheduled. Um, so if, if you haven't gotten an email by, um, by noon, it's because we're still working on it, but we, we will get it out tomorrow. It might be later in the afternoon. Uh, just a quick, uh, update, um, in terms of the methodology that we use to build the, the NPL schedule. So as a reminder, the matches that you've played in the fall, if you're a 13 or 14 team and the winter, were essentially precursors to what's going to continue in the spring or summer. So it's one standings table all the way through. Okay, so we essentially continue the season from the winter. And one thing we do relative to our schedule is uh, we make sure that coaches that coach multiple teams do not have a home game and an away game uh, on the same night. In addition, we take into account blackout dates. Uh, we take into account match spacing. Um, and then the other thing that we do is we utilize April in a in, in what I would consider a fairly creative way. So um, facility availability is um, not consistent in April. However, we believe it's a good month, especially this year with the way, the way the weather has been, to try to decompress and get some matches in, in you know, in a meaningful way. Um, so clubs ultimately uh, submit to us when they can host, and then teams generally will have at least one, maybe two matches in April. Um, and we do that, again, so that we can decongest and decompact the season. Um April is, is, you know, can be a heavy travel month for teams. So we've taken into account blackout dates uh, relative to out-of-town travel, for example. So our hope is that the April matches, you know, 95% of them can stay as they are. If you have to reschedule an April match, it's because the, uh, you didn't enter blackout dates like we've asked for. Uh, because we, we accommodated each and every one. So when you get your schedule, know that if you move an April match, it makes your spring or summer season uh, that much more crowded. So it's our hope that the April matches, most of them can stay as they are. Um, we've reviewed the schedule so far, and we haven't found a situation where a team blacked out an April date and got a match. Okay, so we just ask that particular attention and care is given relative to those April matches because clubs are counting on those matches happening. And they also make the spring portion of the schedule, or the summer portion of the schedule more manageable. Okay. The last thing I'll mention is Minnesota Cup. Uh, the 28th of May through June 5th are blacked out uh, when it comes to the league schedule. Um, the expectation and the understanding is that most most NPL teams play in that event, um, and having league games on either side of it just makes for a pretty heavy heavy load. Okay, so that will be blacked out as well. Um, Super division 
we have to declare a winner uh, no later than June 20th. Okay. Um, so most of the time, uh, or for, in the super division, for the most part, uh, matches on the first draft of the schedule wrap up by June 20th. From a reschedule perspective, we will allow matches that don't have any bearing on advancement to play beyond June 20th. Okay, the Premier Division plays into July. Okay. One other note regarding April matches is uh, those can be played any day of the week, um, beginning April 12th, meaning Monday through Sunday. And then once we hit April 29th or 30th, whatever that Monday is, we revert to the play nights that we've we've published long ago. Natasha, good question. I think I just covered that. I'll pause there. Any questions on um the schedule method, you know, methodology or how we build it? Okay. Uh, Super Division, we have to send a winner to the NPL Finals. The dates are listed here. So if you are competing for a league championship, please have this event on your radar. And as we get closer and as divisions are clinched, we'll provide more information with regards to travel and whatnot. TCSL covers your entry fee into this event. So you're going to get your schedule tomorrow, at which point the reschedule window opens. That will be open until April 1st. Obviously, you know, our hope is that um, 90, 95% of your schedule could remain intact. If there's something unavoidable, um, you may move a match uh, with your opponent and club approval. And for that to happen, and this process varies, um, it, it it varies uh, from how we've handled reschedules in the winter. You will access team chat. That part's the same. The home team will secure facility and referees, confirm a date and time. And then lastly, the reschedule request will be submitted to TCSL from within Gotsport. We will provide... Um, we will provide uh, those instructions for those of you that have done it before. Uh, it's no different than the fall, so it's probably something you're you're aware of. But we'll provide instructions in our email tomorrow. Thought that we were going to ask this is a question. I thought we were going to uh, ask to choose April blackout days based on the days of the week that we would be playing games. For instance, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Is it possible that we're going to end up with a game on a different day in April? Yes, we've communicated that process several times to to clubs. Uh, April is treated differently than uh, beginning on April 29th or 30th, whatever that Monday is. Might even be the 28th. Um, so you will end up with a – you could end up with a, a game any day of the week in April. So that will be scheduled pending your blackout dates. NPL Showcase. So this is applicable only to U16, U17, and U19 teams. So if you're a manager or coach of a team in the U13, U14, or U15 age categories, you can ignore this. Um, we provided an option for clubs to opt out from this event for you know whatever reason, prom, graduation, what have you. The boys will play May 3rd through the 5th. The girls will play May 17th through the 19th. The games will be played at Fernbrook and Maple Grove. And you will play two league games at this event. So the games that are played at this event count for the league. And you'll see those on your schedule when you get your schedule tomorrow. If you get your schedule tomorrow and you're wondering where these games are, it's because your club opted out your team when we solicited schedule information from them 
you know, previous to beginning the schedule. Okay. This has been a very well received event. Um, it's been, yeah, it's, it's, it's been a still get out of here. It's my dog being a pain. Um, it's been a well received event. We're excited about it again. Really good participation again. And it's a way to uh, get league games out of the way at a really, really nice facility. And we invite college coaches to come observe as well. Okay. One thing that we've sent out now a couple times is if you are participating in this event, you must submit a form to us with your player information. Um, we need that. Uh, I think the deadline's coming up here. So, and we'll include that in our email tomorrow. Um, but if you're wondering about what this is, check your email, the last couple updates we've sent out. We need that information. Um, and if we don't have it from you by mid-March, we'll be, we'll be reaching out. So we'd appreciate it if you could um, help us out and, and submit that so that we can provide it to college coaches. I'll pause there. Any questions? Okay. Oh. Uh, do you know when you'll have a list of colleges attending? Uh, yeah, we'll we'll start to publish that soon. The other thing we're going to do is send out um, a list from our database of schools that. Uh, players can proactively reach out to as well. We'll we'll look to provide that in the coming days. The deadline for submitting player data is March 15th. Don just reminded me. We have not gotten an email about this event. Does that mean the team has not been submitted into this tournament? It's not a tournament. It's a showcase played within the league framework. This is something that we've, um, th that your club would have opted you out of. Everybody is automatically in. So your club would have had to opt you out of the event. It's not a separate registration. We don't charge a fee for this event even. Uh, if our team has two teams and the other team has games that weekend, can we reschedule ours? I don't know what you're referring to, Stephanie. I'm sorry. If you're referring to the rescheduling a showcase game, once that, once, no, we, we would want that game to stay as is. And then lastly, and I mentioned this before, when you get the schedule tomorrow, the league schedule will be blacked out uh, 521 to 6, or excuse me, 527 through June 4th. I think actually with one exception, I think we had to put one game on 528, but for the most part, uh, the schedule is completely blacked out during that window. Uh, just a reminder, State Cup, the Super Division advances to National Cup in Colorado. The Premier Division advances to Midwest Regional in Illinois. And if you're an NPL team and you win both the NPL and Minnesota Cup um, in the Super Division, you attend the NPL Finals and we will take the runner-up for Minnesota Cup to send them to National Cup. So the NPL Finals is the event that takes priority. But again... The Super Division advances to National Cup. The Premier Division advances to Midwest Regionals in Illinois. Um, registration deadline's coming up March 31st. Uh, I expect this this year's event to be even bigger than the last, and last year's was pretty big. It's a, it's a really fun celebration of soccer in Minnesota. We announced um, uh, locations uh, yesterday or the day before. Um, we're excited that uh, not only are gonna, we going to be on seven turf fields at the NSC, we'll be at Fernbrook, four really nice turf fields. We'll be back at Miller Park, 
five really nice grass fields. But what uh, what might be the headliner is we announced that uh, we're going to have select matches at TCO Stadium where the Aurora play and and where the Vikings training camp is. So that'll be really, really fun. Um, for sure, uh, we'll have six or seven championship games on Sunday the uh, 2nd. And then there'll be other matches prior to that. But that day will be, I think, pretty special for the players that are uh, playing. Okay. I'll pause there. Uh, question about Minnesota Cup. Will we be able to request blackout dates for Minnesota Cup? Uh, it's likely that you will play every day minus one day. And there's one division size where you could end up with a match every day. It's not likely, though. So um, you're welcome to request that, but it will not be guaranteed. But you should, if you're entering that event, you should pretty much be free to play in that event. I'd say the the one thing that we, we're interested in helping support is, uh, obviously it's a heavy graduation time. So we're we're open to trying to figure out how we can make that piece work with people that are graduating for the U18s and U19s. Um, you know, for example, if, if graduations on Sunday, um, or if graduations on Saturday, for example, to, you know, have, have a match at 8am so that they can get on their merry way. But, uh, for the most part, um, it's a, it's a scenario where, you know, if you enter the event, you should generally be available. And if there's something that's unavoidable or you want to make the request, you're you're welcome to, and we'll do our best. But know that, you know, in some cases, the groups have to play on certain days. I'm just looking at the Q and A. Uh, Jeremy, you can email info at tcslsoccer.com with the request, and I would just say we'll do our absolute best, but. Um, and in certain cases, it might be unavoidable. Regular season NPL premier standings have no bearing on Minnesota Cup. Correct. Uh, that is a correct statement that uh, they don't have any bearing on, on Minnesota Cup. Any other questions on Minnesota Cup or really anything else at this point? Okay. Um, again, we'll look to get schedules out at some point tomorrow. If 3 p.m. comes around and you're like, gosh, I really wonder if those schedules are coming. They're going to come. It just might not be until the end of the day tomorrow. Um, but we, we commit to getting schedules out. And then uh, we commit to um, answering any questions you have after they come out. And we commit to being a resource for the reschedule process. Okay. We appreciate your support. We know uh, how hard you all work for, for the good of the players, and we're looking forward to another good NPL season here coming up. Thanks a lot, everybody.